It brings prestige. It's a deterrent to others in the world where he knows there may be a clan enemy waiting to kill him in blood feud. It shows that he is brave and has the admired readiness to fight. It's part of the way of life. But the Patans are served by something else, just as effective as their weapons. Their strong sense of themselves as a people and as believers in Islam. Central Asia's current upheavals are closely linked with the Islamic world's new burst of self-confidence. At the heart of the main countries concerned is a thousand-mile sweep of territory in which the Pathans, more than 12 million, live. Here also are located the strategic mountain passes of Central Asia, where the armies of Alexander the Great, Genghis Khan, the Mughals, the British, have all passed through without ever controlling the inhabitants. The Pathans' sense of identity does not come from widespread organization of any kind. They have no central authority. They are a group of detached and independent tribes with many names. The Afridi, the Wazirs, seen here, the Momans, the Yusufzai, the Oraksai, and many more. This very lack of organization has proved troublesome to occupying forces in the past, causing them to face scattered and unpredictable attacks with no large-scale leaders to defeat or fix deals with. The British found that they had to deploy more troops here than anywhere else in the British Empire. But behind the familiar image of the Patans as fighting men, and seen far less often is the daily life they defend when they fight. Tribal Patans live in scattered and nearly self-contained villages, farming the valleys and herding their animals on the dry slopes. The tribal areas of Pakistan are remote, sometimes inaccessible mountain regions, officially beyond the limits of central government. Pakistan's law does not reach here. The government would only interfere in village life in the event of exceptional disorder between the tribes, and then at the risk of retaliation. Inside the village is yet more self-containment. 